Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you a really cool video and that is the Galaxy Note 8 benchmark test. Uh, so we will be doing four benchmark tests um, and going through first quadrant. So let's check this out. Okay, and first let's check out the uh, system info. Quadrant, I always feel, has the best uh, layout of this. So I'm going to zoom in for you guys. And you can see this is Android 4.1.2. The exact model is GTN 5110. And we do have a quad core processor that's 1.6 gigahertz. Um, this is the Exynos processor. And uh, we have 800 by 1280 resolution, and the GPU is uh, uh, Malay 400. So yeah, that is all of the specs for it. And then now let's run the full benchmark test and check it out. So theoretically, this should pretty much be on par with the Note 2. Uh, just because I believe it's the exact same processor. So let me just you guys see the frames per second. I believe it's the exact same processor on the device, and of course has the same RAM. So theoretically, we should have uh, the same kind of uh, results then. But we shall see. And as always, if there is specific videos you want to see for this uh, device, please let me know. Of course, we're going to put it up against like the iPad Mini, uh, probably even the Tab 2, and the Nexus 7. Alright, so this device, um, damn, Quadrant definitely needs to update this. Uh, so against the One X, um, obviously it's going to beat that. But the One X and the Prime were obviously Tegra 3s, so we can see this is um, a step above the original quad cores that were out. Um, so yeah, that was it on Quadrant Score. And now let's check out N22. And let's just get rid of all this. And clear the RAM. I always like to do it as like fair as possible for each test to make sure it does it efficiently. And now let's go through in two two. And let's run the full test. Two two does have usually relatively newer scores, so hopefully they'll have like the Note two, Nexus four, and uh, more current devices out there. And the jumping androids, along with a couple of jelly beans, and I think soon it'll have the frame per second on the bottom, so I'll just get that ready.
Seems like it's stuttering a little bit on this one. Now the SD card and that should be it. So the score is 16707, and you can see the respective uh, CPU, GPU, RAM, and I.O. Submitting the score. And then we should take a look at the rankings. chart and now the bar chart okay so uh, a little below um, the s uh, a little below the note 2 which again it has the same processor maybe no actually I don't know why that would be different really it should be basically the same but very close obviously uh, comparing to that one as uh, terms of the s3 oh actually whoops um, in terms of the S3, it's faster than that one, faster than the One X, uh, Nexus 7, Nexus 10, Prime. So it is faster compared to the Nexus 7. Uh, important to note, obviously, because that's one of the main contenders of this tablet. Um, but still, obviously, not on par compared to the Galaxy S4. Alright. And now, we will take a look at Geekbench. benchmark. Now Geekbench is generally pretty quick so we'll see how quickly this one runs. And there we have it. All right. So we have 2107. And there you have that. Go over the performances integrated. Floating. Oops, sorry. Floating. Memory. and stream. And now it compares. So uh, this device is a bit better compared to, actually a bit better compared to the Note 2, as well as the Nexus 4. Um, not as quite as good as the Nexus 10, which has their best uh, rating on here. Kind of interesting. So yeah, uh, but better again compared to the no two and the Nexus Four, so pretty good ranking for there. Now on the third one, um, I have to run more tests, but uh, for the 3D Mark, it got actually uh, very low scores um, in comparison. So I'm not sure if it was just um, because it was like the first time I turned it on and it just got really low scores. I did do it twice um, to try it out, but it just got really low scores way lower than uh, any counterparts that we just talked about, like the Nexus 4. Um, I mean, even compared to like the uh, older tablets, like the Tab 2 and everything like that. So we got really low scores. So I think there was something wrong with it, um, just because obviously it would score higher than that. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you guys have any questions on the benchmark scores, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.